to the Mark West Sports Podcast. The last thing I heard was good performance. Um, but yeah, yeah, man, I, I do feel like it was a good performance. Uh, excited to see what, what's going to happen next year in Vegas. Um, and it's, it's on to the offseason, man. Offseason means free agency, and it means who is going to be the mm-hmm. quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. That I mean, that's that that is really the question. The Miami Dolphins is a destination, to be honest, because now that we got a Vic Fangio locked in as a defensive coordinator, you got, you know, Mike uh, McDaniels as your uh, head coach, play caller. I think any quarterback who's looking to, you know, see if he can win right now, it's it's definitely an ideal destination uh, for a player like Aaron Rodgers, or Derek or Derek Carr, or Jimmy Garoppolo, or um, Lamar Jackson is 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 not going to happen. You know, I don't think it. I mean. I don't think the Baltimore Ravens are stupid enough to trade them. And I think they're smart enough to franchise tag them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because if they if they franchise tag them, that, that's it. You know, we can't – there's nothing really we can do there. This year. <laughs> yeah, this year. I mean, next year is fair game. But Yeah, uh, it makes it our favorite. Think about it, Marcus. Like, yo, I mean, you don't want Tua, but they already said they're all in on Tua for this year, his final year. They didn't pick up the on fifth year option. So again, like we said in the previous podcast, you could go ahead and have Tua show us if he's the guy. So if he's gonna stay upright, we know that he can throw in cold weather. You know that he can, you know, throw deep balls and this, that, and the other. So that's not what you need to worry about. You need to worry about the durability. But then again, okay. Let's go ahead and figure this out. If it's not you, they franchise tag Lamar Jackson. You could come to the crib. We don't need to give up no picks. We don't need to do none of that. You just pick him up, pay him what he want to get paid, and call it a day. By that, certain contracts will be gone. Byron Jones' contract should be gone by then. I think he'll probably be in his final year of that contract. Um, and that's I'm more money. Sure, that I'm use. pretty sure Byron Jones is not going to make it uh, through the offseason. I'm pretty sure. I think I thought the same thing, but when when they were talking to Chris Greer, they were making it seem like it was certain setbacks that made him not come. Not what me and you was thinking, like collect the bag and retire in Miami. It seemed like, you know, I mean, we're not in the locker room. We're not in there. Like, I mean, you see how you cover the Canes, you know, certain things. So you could probably be on point with the certain things, but we're not doing the same thing for the Dolphins. So um, if they talking positive about him, and you see everybody, myself, you, everybody on um, the radios and um, different podcasts from Miami that speak in regards to him. They have a negative light on him. So for the organization to still be behind him when clearly everybody don't want him here, everybody want to get rid of him. Um, if they're t- on speaking positive, then it must be like he probably suffered a setback and like probably like Tannehill, Tannehill. You feel me? You you should have had the ACL um um surgery and you did it and then you had a setback during training camp i mean i'm happy you're gone but still just to prove my point look setbacks happen if that was the case then i really can't talk shit and i'm sorry you feel me i'm gonna take your face off the milk carton and put you back into um some positive light when when i speak on you but until then you know you're a bitch ass nigga yeah, that's what I'm saying. Until then, right? <laughs> Until then, he's trash. Until then, he's by wrong Jones. You know, like he's, he's nah, man. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, man, I was I was gonna say something about um, oh, ten, uh, your boy Tua, right? So, I wanted to um, I wanted to see if you wanted to go double or nothing on the bet. <laughs> and bet if Tua will be injured next season. I'm gonna say yes, he's gonna be injured next season. You willing to go double nothing and say no? Oh hell no, nah, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, nah, you gotta bet me something. No, you can say, oh, um, Tua's gonna play um a certain amount of games, or he's gonna be injured a certain amount of games. Cool, but just injured. 
it could be any injury, man. You feel me? And, and I lose. I ain't now, nah, but I, you, you got. I ain't no miss, scared money over games. here, but I, I'm how about, how about miss games with my money, huh? How about miss games? Just just miss games. I think he's probably gonna miss one. Do you game think he's gonna play the whole season? I'll bet no. I think he'll play. I think he'll probably miss one or two games. One or two games, even your ass not gonna be mad about that. You feel me? If he can I, play all right, 15 so let's, games, let's do three. I say I, I say he missed three games. You take that. I'll, t- I'll take it. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. We'll be on a long wager. time until the end of that bet. But um... Okay, okay. I'm going to be betting you. I'm going to be betting Gene. I'm going to be betting everybody that want to hate on the arm of the almighty tour. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to make sure that it's a, a, a decent – um bet you feel me so when when you lose it hurts a little bit more because you're gonna be like damn i gotta stay with his like this is the franchise quarterback i already lost the super bowl now i'm losing this bet right now West now, the, now bro, that West i think about it i don't even i don't even know if i want to take that bet because that means i have to root for Tua to get hurt <laughs> you feel like, me I, and i don't want to have that in my heart all season you know i don't want to be be that guy i'm trying to change change a new change, we'll, we'll, turn a new leaf you know well we'll find a, a different we'll bet something but, but my won't. point is my point <laughs> is i don't think tua is gonna make it through the season so you need a backup plan man you need a backup plan you need a backup plan to the backup plan to the backup plan like big boys say you know what i'm saying and <sighs> Because we didn't have a good backup plan last season, Teddy Bridgewater, Skylar Thompson, we did we lost more games than we should have, and we didn't beat Buffalo. So we need a quarterback, bro. We need at least somebody uh, who can back up to a next year that's the only chance i think we have because if we betting on two of the state healthy for an entire season you know i'm willing to bet you know my dog on that (laughs) 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 i'm willing to bet rocky on that bro like bro if it happens man it's been real we dap up and that and that'd be it but uh but yeah that's that that's how i feel i mean I just don't think your boy going to be healthy enough no matter what happens in, in this offseason. I hope they can keep Melvin Gordon because I believe he's a free agent. Hopefully they can keep him. Um, and I think that's the only major free agent that I, that I think that I can think of that, that we have to de- kind of decide on. I think the running backs, too. You have to kind of decide on the running backs. Oh, man. Um, I think you have to d- decide on which one. Uh, is either going to be Mostert or uh, Jeff Wilson. Jeff Wilson. I mean, I mean you're going to sign both of them. I mean, you see the, how the NFL. I don't think they can afford to sign both. I think someone else would sign one of them, you know, because they both, yeah. they both capable. They both capable yeah. back. Both couldn't really stay healthy the whole time. And then we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to use the not being available as an advantage. You've been injured. I've been giving you a shot. You know, uh, I'm like, yo, I, 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 why, why not use that? Especially for two or two or two. I'm loving it that he can't, that he have this, this, this cloud over him. So when we um, negotiate contracts, when we know that, because we, uh, look, me, I know that he's our quarterback. I don't know about you. You still need to figure it out, but I know he's the quarterback. I know, look, because again, Marcus, think about it. Like we've been wanting the Dolphins to go to the Super Bowl for the longest, right? We've been having dreams about the Dolphins. So you have dreams about a different quarterback. You think it's going to happen your way? It's not going to happen your way, just like, it no. It could. We've been dreaming positive things for the Dolphins for years. It doesn't happen our way. So why, when you think that you're going to get another quarterback, it's going to happen your way? No, the curse is going to continue, and you're going to be stuck with two of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, like, to be honest with you, like, I think the Dolphins are good. Like you said, we 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 officially signed Vic um, Fangio. I was kind of getting kind of um, scared about it. It was looking like University of Miami. Like, damn, like, what's going on? Like, damn, are you coming? Are you not? Are you going to do us like Kamarni McClain? Like, what, what, what's going <laughs> on? Are you, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking that, damn, he probably is going to sign with someone else. 
but um, he wound up signing with the Dolphins. Um, I'm happy that he didn't win it with, with Philly as a consultant because now he could be like, damn, I was just here um, and I didn't get it. If he was probably got it, same like people that get the money, they lose the fire and the will that they normally would have. I don't think Patrick Mahomes is losing that, but you know what I'm talking about um, yeah. in regards to people, um, you know, switching up once they get paid. But um, good, good, good. I see good things for the Dolphins because we got um, Fangio, supposedly great mind in defense. And then we got Mike McDaniels, great mind on offense. And when it comes to um, Fangio, Fangio was a head coach. He, you know, he could he could kind of um, help Mike McDaniel's in certain situations, especially with the clock. You know, get the play out quick. You know, so you know we won't have to call timeouts so much during the game. You need to call timeouts for important um, situations and not not being stupid um, by um, three, two, one, and I got to call a timeout because we we weren't. Um, efficient with time management. But, hey, um, good things for the Dolphins. I don't know what Tyreek Hill is feeling right now that his former team won a Super Bowl without him. Um, they didn't need that 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 one um, number one receiver. You know, they yeah. you know they got Patrick Mahomes. Hey, hey it, it ain't that's what I've been saying, though? I was just, I'm just like, yo, you paying this much money for, for a receiver? I love Tyreek. I'm one of the best, biggest Tyreek Hill fans. Uh, any any smaller dude, you know, me being a small dude, I'm a root for, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm all about the little guy. And mm -hmm. he's one of the toughest little guys in the league, you know, probably should have won Offensive Player of the Year uh, with his numbers. I think, you know, they hating on us like they always do. Um, but at the same time, you can win without a legit number one guy because can you name the number one receiver from KC? No, you know, nobody can name the it's not Juju Smith Schuster, he was just mm -hmm. an average, he can he can be a number two or three receiver anywhere else. Kadarius Tony, the same way, and Marcus Valdez Gantling, he's a, a three receiver at best. Um, it's really all about the quarterback. It's all about the coach. It's all about the defense. Um, even running backs don't even really matter as much, you know, as far as winning, um, because each, no one knew who Isaiah Pacheco was probably before this, this season, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason why he got to play is because the starter Clyde Edwards Hilaire got hurt. So then McKinnon came over from a different team. He's a veteran guy. I mean, those those players in the NFL are a dime a dozen. I'm not going to lie. I mean, like, look at the draft. You, you can get any big-time receivers straight out of the draft, and, they, and they're going to be productive. I mean, Chris Olave is a rookie who did well. Um, Garrett Wilson, who plays for the Jets, straight is a rookie playing well. And next season is probably going to be the same way the year before that. Um it was the um, – who was it? I can't think of it. But it was somebody somebody in their first year who balled out. So you're always going to have that – but Jalen Waddle is, is a clear example um, um, about a player who, who's a rookie and just, you know, he, he can plug and play right away. So, so, yeah, I mean, Kansas City, I hate to say it, but they did the smart thing by trading Tyreek. They did yeah, the smart they did. thing. They did the smart thing because one, we got a receiver um, for Tua, and you know, a receiver like him kind of changes the whole dynamic of the offense because he could take the top off of the defense, and he could catch in the slot over the middle. He could pretty much catch it anywhere, and he changes the dynamic of the offense. Um, and at the same time, they paid that bread to they paid that bread to Patrick Mahomes, so they have to spread that money around. Um, naturally so, of course, Patrick Mahomes is the new GOAT of the NFL. Um, but obviously that's what they're going to con continue to have to do. The, the, the formula for the NFL is basically, hopefully you hit on the quarterback, right? So you don't have to pay him for the first few years mm -hmm. and you have veterans and players around him that can elevate your team to win the Super Bowl, i.e. Patrick Mahomes first Super Bowl, um, i.e. Russell Wilson and his first Super Bowl. Um, and that's kind of the ideal situation. 
And then once they done with their rookie contract, you got to pay them that bread. So now you have to find other cheaper pieces from the draft to uh, make the team a winner or just through free agency, underrated dudes that could just play. So we are in that, we are in that, that, that time where we got our quarterback, hoping we got put pieces around him. We just had to fix the defense. Hopefully that happened. If he could stay healthy, I think we're a Super Bowl contender. Um, yeah, but, me too. <clears throat> but well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, and Tyreek Hill, I mean, it's to be seen if he's really worth the money. Uh, depending on depending on our quarterback situation, because if we if you don't have nobody to throw it to him, Tyreek Hill is basically useless, right? Yeah. Like yeah, if yeah, you don't yeah. have a quarterback to throw him the ball, what you gonna do? Run him, run him as a running back, jet sweeps all day? Nah, <laughs> can't do yeah. that. I feel you, but you know, I, I I like to speak positivity in my team. You know what I'm saying? Um, and tools gonna be available the same way that he was available all those games and still was able to be top. 10 in, in, in yards for, for a quarterback um, this year and in touchdowns, then, you know, it just shows like we don't need to worry about if he has intangibles to be the quarterback. We know he got it. We know he's smart. Um, I found out recently that um, he's trying to figure out how to land better. He wind up taking um, karate or jujitsu or something like that to um, okay. figure out how to actually land correctly. And that's all you want to see. You want to see, um, if I have something that's a detriment to me um, moving forward, then what's the best thing to do? Not just turn a blind eye to it, but to look at it straight in the face and try to learn from it. You know, um, a lot of people um, give individuals advice and they don't like it. They they get mad or upset. You don't know what the hell you're talking about, even though it's clearly they know what they're talking about. And I like somebody like Tua where he's absorbing and he's hearing what everybody's saying. He He know that he's on a hot seat. You feel I me? Mean? And he's going to do what he needs to do to stay healthy. You know, last last year it was, you know, his body um, being um, fragile. But like I stated before, when, when you got a hip injury, you can't work out like that. You can't, you know, do what you normally would do at the gym. I mean, shit, sometimes when my back be hurting one day, I'll, I'll, I'll wake up. You know, we're getting old. You wake up, get off the bed, and then you're like, oh, you, you know, normally I'll be going straight to the to the garage to go work out, do a little workout real quick before I start my day. I'm like, oh hell no, nah. Tyson, you ain't getting walked neither. Oh hell no, nah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta sit down and and call it a day. So imagine it's a hip injury. Like, come on now, like I'm not gonna blame Tool for certain things like that. Um, I will blame him for not knowing how the lines um fall so so long in his career like come on man you're in the league now you're not you know pop warning you did that you didn't get tackled before i know alabama got five star old line damn you you never you know really got hit besides the hip injury like come on now i i, I would assume you know how to fall but if you don't he's taking the right steps to wind up um proving marcus wrong and all the other haters that um i'm your quarterback i'm like to yeah. that's we'll my see. quarterback yeah, you gotta you gotta fall before you ball, I guess. So okay, we'll, we'll, okay. But <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, well, I mean, we can talk heat or we can talk um, hurricanes. You know, I want to talk about the canes. We're already on football, and, and the canes just been um, lately. They've been making moves, good moves. 